Hi, in this video I will tell you about 10 most used Azure services every developer must know. So my name is Shalain Chohan, I am Microsoft MVP, Technical Counselor, Corporate Trainer. So let us start the video. So when you are working on Azure, so as a developer you don't need to learn many services over there. We having the most popular or you can say we having the so many widely used Azure services, you should understand, you should do the hands-on so that whenever you are building a new project, you able to integrate those services with your application. So service number one is virtual machine. So whenever it is coming to deploy your application in the cloud, where you will have the more flexibility or you can say where you having everything in your control. So virtual machine is the service widely used for building the application, for deploying the application over there. So using the virtual machine, we can deploy our website, we can deploy our API, we can deploy our services. The second service we having here is Azure Storage. So when it is coming to storing the unstructured data, like we having the PDF, we having the images, we having the audio, video, such unstructured data. So there we prefer Azure Storage. So understand how the Azure Storage we can integrate in our project. The third important service we having the SQL Azure. So when it is coming to store our application database. So we always store our application database in SQL Server. If you are a .NET developer, if you are a uh, Java developer, let's say any other developer, we prefer the another RDBMS. Like we having the MySQL, we having the PostgreSQL and we having the another RDBMS. So here in Azure, when it is coming to SQL Server, we having the Azure SQL, which will help you to store your data in the Azure in the cloud as we store on a local machine, as we store in the on prem environment. The fourth important service we having here web app. So if you are looking for the alternative of virtual machine, because virtual machine is a part of infrastructure just service offering. But if you need something where you don't need to manage everything. So we having the pass service. So in the pass service we having the web app. So in the web app you don't have the access to the virtual machine but you can manage it using the Azure portal. You have to just do focus on building the application code and through the web app we can easily deploy our application. The fifth important service we have being the Azure function. So when it is coming to execute some background activity, the background task. So let's say we having the background task for sending the email, we having some background task for taking the regular backup or we having some background activity, we have to schedule it as a particular interval. So there Azure function is the, the service which people widely use. So you must understand how the Azure function we can use for running those background jobs. The sixth important service we having here Cosmos DB. So whenever you are working a real world application where you need to manage the real world data. Let's say you having an application where you need to provide the food delivery to the customer where you having let's say a taxi like app we having the Ola and Uber where we need to track the driver real time location. So to manage such real time data we having the Cosmos DB here. Because the Cosmos DB database query time will take less than 10 millisecond and the right operation time take less than 15 millisecond. So Cosmos DB is the another important service as a developer you must know. Then we having the seventh important service that is Azure Service Bus. So when it is coming to building the application, so our application component communicate to each other in connected mode and the disconnected mode. So there is a requirement to communicate the component in the disconnected mode, there Azure Service Bus will help us. Where the sender can send the message to the service bus and the receiver will receive the message whenever he, the, the, the receiver is online. You can take the example of any e-commerce domain where we having the Amazon, where we having the Flipkart. If you will notice over there, they immediately never confirm your order. They confirm the order after some time. So after the payment confirmation behind the scene, there is a queue where message is going to store. And from the receiver end, the message they will read and confirm your order. And the same way they keep updating your order information for further. So service bus is very important service whenever you are going to implement the communication between the application component in the disconnected mode. It's basically it is widely used in the microservices architecture environment. The eighth important service we have being the Azure Active Directory. 
so azure active directory is widely used for the identity management if you are willing to manage the device identity user management group management even it is helping us to implement the single sign on functionality because sometime it happens an organization having the many application so what is the way using the one identity i can access one organization all the application similar way we having in microsoft we having outlook.com we having the bing we having over there um, azure portal many microsoft azure services we can access using one identity so such thing you can implement with the help of azure active directory the ninth important service we having the azure key vault so whenever we are building our application we have to manage many environment specific configuration we having the database connection string we having the user id and password we having the smtp details we having the ssl certificate so do we have any place where we can store them securely and we can access them whenever it is required so azure key vault is providing that place so azure key vault is a right place where you can store your certificate ssl certificate you can store your credential whenever you need to fetch them you can fetch them easily and manage them at one place the tenth important service we having the application insight so whenever we deploy the application to the cloud so it is necessary to monitor it so that we can optimize the application performance so do we have any option where we can look into the code what are the method is taking how much time which file is taking how much time to render into the browser so the application insight will help us so application insight is provide the detailed analysis of our code execution of our application rendering the browser so that we can take the decision to optimize our application performance so as a developer if you know these 10 services i'm sure you don't need to learn any other service to build maximum application using the microsoft azure if you like this 10 important microsoft azure services please do share this video with your colleague with your friends so that they also get to know like these are the 10 important services they need to learn to become a microsoft azure developer so thank you for watching it